Um, you know, Michigan State this weekend, I guess, jumping right in on film, what do you see from them defensively? Uh, what do you think you can take advantage of? What's going to be tough there? I mean, they're a great team. They're number seven team in the nation for a reason. They got a bunch of great players on the defensive side. Um, like Coach Keeley was saying, you know, their defensive line is, you know, it really stands out to me a lot. You know, they're probably one of the best defensive lines in the country. And I mean, you work your way up, you get the linebacker core, the secondary. I mean, everybody's really good on that side. Um, it's going to be a really, you know, a great challenge for us. Um, you know, just kind of like Indiana and Army was. So, you know, we're excited and we're ready to get after it. I guess, uh, you know, you faced uh, two tough opponents in you know, Army and Indiana. You know, I guess what are some of the things you're looking to improve going into that Michigan State game? What are the things that I guess you're liking about the offense so far? I mean, like, same thing every week, uh, starting fast. Yeah. Um, you know, this past week, of course, I didn't start off with the turnover, so that's a little improvement. But, um, you know, we went three and out the first drive, and, you know, that's something else we can't do. So, um, I mean, that's really what, you know, I'm looking forward to in Michigan State, you know, just starting fast and, you know, just as we, as the game goes on, we get better and better. And that's the thing, if we are able to start fast and finish the game like we have been, I mean, we're, we'll be able to put up points. I mean, that we've, I mean, 50, 60 points on people. And uh, that's the big thing that we have to work on. You know, talking to Coach Ellis a lot last year, he was a guy that's really high on Malachi Corley. Uh, Malachi didn't really see a lot of action last year, but this year he's come in, he's kind of, seems like he's your number two target out there behind Jareth. I guess, when did that kind of relationship with him develop and that chemistry with him develop? And what have you seen from him through three games? I mean, that kind of built, started building, you know, of course, back in the spring when I got here. And then, you know, we worked together in the summer, coming out here after workouts, after conditioning, you know, kind of get like one-on-one -on -one work, um, you know, routes on air, stuff like that. And then, of course, in the fall camp. And I think the best thing for, you know, Malachi has done is he's really taken upon himself to understand the offense. And he's done a phenomenal job. He's a very smart player. He understands what I'm looking for, and he understands where I've, you know, the checks that I want. And, um, you know, also, you know, he's a heck of a blocker. He's one of our best blockers on the, you know, receiving core. And, I mean, to be able to do both, you know, the route running, the catching, the, you know, run, uh, you know, blocking and everything is, you know, really helped him, you know, get on the field a lot more. I guess, uh, you know, facing that pass for us, you know, what type of game plan are you, I guess, uh, I guess playing with Kitley, just uh, going to the game, are you all going to plan like some quick passes, maybe get the ball out quickly, or, or the offensive line, you know, like Kitley said, has been playing really good. Do you all, I guess, I trust him to maybe take some deep shots early? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, a little bit of both, kind of keep defense on the heels. Um, like you said, I mean, we've well, I've seen something. We have the number three uh, pass blocking O-line in the nation right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, those guys have been playing their butts off. I mean, I win another game of, you know, not getting sacked. Of course, Jareth got sacked, so I mean, Mark's against them, but I mean, I didn't get sacked, so, um, so I mean, that's that's phenomenal. I mean, to play against guys like you know Army and Indiana, and not only give up one or two sacks, and then going to Michigan State, you know, it's gonna be another great challenge for us. And uh, you know, like I said, we're, I know they're ready for it. I know they're excited for it. You go against that type of competition, we're ready. You know, the penalties um, Saturday hurt you guys a little bit. All three phases of the game, you know, offense, defense, special teams. You know, look back at. Army, there was those couple false starts in that second drive, I believe. You know, I guess when you know you're going to have to play a clean game against a team like Michigan State to win it, I guess how much more pressure is that on you to, you know, try to stay away from those penalties and how do you actually do that? Um, you know, uh, just being ourselves, I guess. You know, I mean, that's just, you know, just us making our mistakes, shooting ourselves in the foot. You know, that's stuff that we can clean up here in practice, you know, look back on film and, you know, look at it and be like, okay, we can clean that up. And, um, you know, Coach Keeley tells us all the time that those self-inflicted wounds, the shooting ourselves in the foot, the false starts, the holdings, those, that stuff, you know, causes us not to score points. And if we're able to, you know, cut those out and, you know, maybe only have one or two penalties in a game instead of four or five, I mean, the amount of points that we can score from, you know, just that, you know, just one or two point, or penalties, you know, is something that, you know, we can, we're looking forward to. And, you know, Michigan State, like you said, is a great team and we're going to have to play good. You know, it seems like you're really starting to pick up a lot of attention. Obviously, everybody here knew what you did at Houston Baptist, but on a, on a national stage, it seems like it. Obviously, when you play the way you played against Indiana, and then, you know, you have an opportunity against Michigan State, I guess. Is that a, more pressure on you, or is that something you look forward to? Because that's, you know, why you came here. That's why I came here, exactly. You know, I love competition. So, you know, playing against teams like Army, Indiana, Michigan State, is what, you know, you dream of, playing big Power 5 schools. Um, so, you know, that's, I don't want to say it's pressure. I'd say it's more... You know, anxious, you know, I'm ready to get out there. This Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is kind of like, all right, like, let's hurry up, get to Saturday now. But, you know, that's why I came here. Um, I have a great, you know, great 10 guys around me and, you know, just get the ball in my playmakers' hands and let them do their job and, you know, 
it's easy for me now. So I just gotta get those guys the ball. You know, a lot of people pegged you as like a you know pocket passer coming in, and you know you showed some, a lot of mobility in the first couple of weeks. You know, have you talked to Kitley about maybe getting involved in the run game, some read options, or maybe some quarterback draws? I'll leave the <laughs> scheming up to him. You know, we got some run, great running backs and Noah, uh, AC, Kai, and those guys, and um, you know, it's a lot easier to hand the ball off to them, let them run than me. Um, I'm more like you said, I've. I'll do the little running around back there to avoid sacks, but downhill running, I'll, I'll leave it up to those guys. Yeah.